open start server application in project select project info when you create your new project go on new here you can choose your project name according to your project requirements we prefer district name underscore lgd code then go to the projection here continent must have chosen western asia and country should be india after that you can click on apply once you added your project details you will get a message down added success after that go to coordinate system select elevation grid geoid model height grid should be enabled now go to file here you have to download your egm model You can choose EGM 96, then download it. The file downloaded successfully. You can save your data. After completing your project settings, you have to set your device. In device menu, select device. Click on connect. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now switch on your rover. After that, select your rover serial number. Go for yes. Select pair. Now your device and rover are successfully connected. Now go to the rover settings. Select rover. Here data link should be selected as data collector internet. Elevation marks should be 10. Server you can go for course. IP address, port, mount point, username and password will be given by SSLR. IP address you can choose 43.240.5.42 port 2104. Now click on KVRS. Next to the mount point, select get. Here choose KVRS. Click OK. Now go for set. Now, now we are ready to take the survey. In survey menu, select detail survey. In top right corner, select the three dots. Select antenna. And in a height, you can choose 1.5 meter. Select the dot again. Go to configure. In online map, you can get a multiple options. Choose according to your project preference. I'm selecting Google map. Now your map is switching on. Please wait. You will get a message. Map switch success. 
Now your map is loaded. You can zoom into your preferred location. When you adding your new point, you can click on the location icon. Here you can choose your point name. In the case of new point, you can choose N1, N2, N3 accordingly, underscore LGD code. Here is the first point. So I am choosing N1, underscore the LGD code. After that, you are ready to take the photographs. Click on the photographs. After that, click on OK. Here, you can save your photographs. Click on OK. In point data, you can see all your collected points. Here, N1, N2s are the newly collected points. Now you have to export your data. For that, go on data export. In custom export, click on create. You can choose your template name here. I'm keeping as to CSV. Suffix name should be in the CSV format. After that, click on OK. Here you can see all the supported fields and selected fields. You have to select all the fields. For that, click on the lines. Format file header should be enabled. Now click on OK. Here you can see your CSV file. Now you have to save your file. For that, navigate your project folder. Choose your file name. As per we discussed, we prefer district name underscore LGD code. Click on export. Now your data is successfully exported. Now we are discussing about stakeout point. For that, select project settings. In that data management, click on add. Here you can choose where your local shapefile has saved. Choose SHP format. Select your shapefile and click on OK. Now it's added successfully. To see that, go to survey, detail survey. Zoom into the location. Here you can see all the local points are added. Now we have to add the boundary. For that, go to project settings, external data management, click on add. Choose your local shape file. Select SHP format. Select the shape file and click on OK. Now it's added successfully. You can see that in survey. Select survey, detail survey. Now your local point data shape file and boundary shape file is added successfully. Now select stakeout points, go to top right corner three dots, select configure. Make sure fixed direction and control direction should be enabled.
now it's taking to the calibration Select data in the top corner. Here, make sure your stake tolerance should be 0.02 cm. Go back now. In CAD, click on the forwarded arrow. Here you can search your stake point. I am searching in the name of N and click on search icon. All your stake out points are visible here. You can choose your stake point here. I am choosing N1 and click on OK. A warning window will come. You can go for OK. Make sure southward and westward range is 0.2 centimeters or under that. Now you are ready to take the point. You can see your target achieve the accuracy. Here, name your point. I am keeping as V2 underscore the LGD code. Click on OK. Now you are ready to take the photographs. Click on OK. Save your photographs. Click on OK. Now you have to send your data. For that, open Satso. Select your project where you have saved. Select the top right corner three dots. Click on Compress. Select your compressed file. Now click on share. 